spin-offs and some of the side sure, ones, sure, it, sure. it is technically number 10. But it's called X instead of Mortal Kombat 10. That's right. Why, why, why is that? Um, you know, X stands for a number of things, I guess. You know, obviously 10, the Roman numeral 10. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, it is kind of like, you know, X for next, which is like, you know, sure. next generation consoles. Mm, good. Uh, there's the next generation characters. You know, we have the daughter of... Uh, Johnny Cage and uh, Sonya Blade in the game, which is kind of like the that next generation of fighters. Cool. And uh, so there's just a number of, of meaning to the word X with, with this game. So we've got a couple developers that are here going to play some matches for us. Yeah, they're going to give us a good demonstration of kind of new features in the game. Right here, you, you can see uh, two new characters, um, Cassie Cage on the left and uh, Devorah is on the right. We're going to give you a, like a demonstration of how they fight um, with they have these things called uh, variations on, on the characters, which are going to give you a little bit of a demonstration on how three different versions of every character exist in the game. Cool. That's what we're really excited about. Are we going to see, are there any uh, old environments returning? Uh, no. Right now, all the environments that we have are, are brand new. You know, okay. As a matter of fact, this, this version of the game has, we're introducing four new characters mm -hmm. uh, to, the, to the mix. This one is called the Cove which uh, we've misspelled with a C, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll change that before we ship the game. And um, it really gives you an idea of some of the environmental things that you can do in the game. Uh, there, are, there are some of these posts that are in the game. You can, you'll notice that some of the characters can actually jump off them, kind of create, you know, sure. maneuvering themselves through, through the uh, environment. Um, the, uh, the versions of the, of the characters that you see here as well um, you know, you could see Cassie Cage, or her hands are, are kind of glowing green. Uh, that's that's the, uh, the the brawler version of her. She has another one called, you know, Hollywood, where she's wearing sunglasses and she has a different set of moves. So it really mixes things up, the fact that there are three versions of every character in the game. And do you pick a version at the start of a match? Exactly. Well, when we go to the, uh, the, the player select, we'll show you it. When you pick a character, the next thing you do is pick one of three versions of that character. We call them variations. Okay. So I gotta say, this level looks incredible. The waves with the burning ship in the background, the, yeah. the skull face on the, on the mountain. Yeah, you know, I guess for that body there, I don't yeah. know if we'll be able to, you can actually grab it out of the air and throw nice. it at your opponent. You know, there's a lot of, um, we really feel like the kind of like the graphic fidelity is the, the, the entry point in it. But then we kind of have to, you know, at, at that point, you know, bring something new to the table. You're gonna notice on the left side there, um, Devorah can actually run up the wall. I'll show you in a bit Whoa. here. Like to you know cool. to its kind of yeah. escape a situation. There's also you can you can grab that uh, barrel there and throw it. Um, but there's there's a number of, of ways that you can kind of you know leverage yourself in the environment to uh, to uh, <laughs> get the best of it there. So what do we need to know about? The oh, here we go. Caps, headshots. Oh, he st <laughs> sticks uh, bubble gum in the wound <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was really, really good. That was awesome. Yeah. You must have so much fun coming up with the fatalities. You know, we, we have these these fatality meetings, and, you know, um, <laughs> one of our designers, you know, he, he presented that idea. And yeah. We were like, yeah, we got to do it. You know, it's yeah. just a really clever little thing like that. Are you ever just in the shower in the morning, and you're like, oh, I, I've got a really good idea for a way to kill people? A lot of, yeah, a lot of people on the on the team just, just offer up these crazy ideas. Um, the, if we were talking about the, um, the, variations, the variations of yeah. characters. So, you know, this, this character on the left here, um, he... You know, he has very di different versions. Each one has their own, you know, like unique moves that they can do. Okay. Um, they 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 all share a certain kind of base moves, but then layered on top of that is okay. that. So normally, like in a fighting game, you, you kind of think, you know, okay, Sub Zero, he's a he's a good match for Raiden, and Raiden is yeah. a good matchup for you know Johnny Cage. This really kind of uh, layers it even deeper, where like you know, version A of Sub Zero might be a good wow. match for version C of Scorpion, and. Um, Adds a lot more variable to the sure. whole mix of the, the kind of like the palette of what the player has mm -hmm. to, to, to use. Uh, who is this new character? He is, his name is Kotal Khan, and he's kind of like, you know, uh, this, this asset warrior. Um, Ferator is kind of like a big hulking creature with a little lady who he takes commands um, from, but also uses as a weapon. So he can throw her and he can, you know, do combos with her in the middle of. Uh, of the game, so you, you're gonna see a, a pretty cool combo here. Surely some, oh yeah, nice. 
Surely someone on the team is a fan of Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, because <laughs> I get a Master Blaster vibe. So like when, when when she gets knocked off, she has to run and kind of jump back on the shoulder. So so there's a little period of time when you you know you don't have those particular moves, and so yeah. it's 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 you know uh, Ferrator is one of our most you know unique and diverse characters that we've had in the game. See the old lady there standing standing there. You can actually pick her up and throw her at the, uh, <laughs> at the opponent there as well. <laughs> she's fallen and she can't get up. I think. Yeah yeah she's she's done. She's uh, done. Again, this map looks beautiful. And what's yeah, this one called? Yeah. This is called the Outworld Marketplace, you know, and uh, you know, our, we're as, as, as excited as we are about these, uh, oh. this is a great X-ray move. Nice. It's, it's, as excited as we are about these, uh, in, you know, environments and the graphics, you know, we really kind of feel like that's the entry point, you know, with, with uh, next gen and all yeah. that, you know, we, we really wanted to add something new to the, uh, to the gameplay elements. Oh, brutal. You can jump off the, 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 the tiger that's laying there too, you'll see. Were the x-rays introduced in the last Mortal Kombat? Yes, yes. Um, it's good to see them back. Yeah, one of the things that really worked well uh, with, with uh, Mortal Kombat 9, which was, you know, 2011 Mortal Kombat, yeah. is um, we had this meter that let you, you know, enhance your special moves do breakers uh, and, and do the x-ray moves, and that was received really well. So our, our strategy with the gameplay was to kind of layer on top of that the variations of the characters. And so we really feel like there's just a really deep mechanic we have in there. Very nice. Subtle, very subtle. So yeah, at its heart, you know, we have so many new elements, but at its heart, it's still Mortal Kombat. We're really uh, pun intended. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and we're adding a lot of new blood to the characters. <laughs> nice, and very good, very good. There, so. All right, who are we gonna? Oh, we see a couple old old favorites here. Yeah, we can show you a Scorpion and Sub Zero for people who are uh, who are familiar with those two characters. This level is called the Snow Forest. Yeah, this is Snow Force. We've had Force in you know in, in Mortal Kombat in some ways. Um, this this one is a good uh, example of some of the leveraging that you can do, like in combination. Um, what's cool too is the characters. All the characters acknowledge the other fighter. You know, they all talk to each other in the beginning, so it's like this little conversation, and it really adds like a, a nice little nuance to the to the to the mechanic. So you, you're gonna notice this. Um, this, this, the tree branch is hanging over there. You can actually jump and grab that branch, swing nice. it over, kind of getting like uh, momentum with the uh, leverage there. You can throw the the log over, and on the left there is a uh, there's a tree stump that you can kind of like long jump off of. See him jump off the thing. Yeah. You can grab this tree branch here and hit you with it. There you go. Nice. A lot of big, big cinematic moments, yeah, and uh, you know, and and and, and the um, the leveraging stuff is something that we're really excited about. It really keeps like the the action going and makes it a lot less of a predictable outcome. You know, based on the fight. And and so this, you know, one, one thing to keep, uh, keep in mind is, is visually every one of these these variations of characters they have their own like uh, like uh, part of their costume that kind of identifies them. You know, so Scorpion uh, or Sub Zero he has this this glowing mask, and that shows you that it's kind of like the unbreakable one, the, the more defensive one that he has there. And Scorpion, his arms are kind of on fire. There are other versions of Scorpion that he has have different costume elements that are a way to identify, you know, which one it is. He pulls out his entrails there nice. and then stabs him in the eye with a freeze. Really good one. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if you've seen uh, Scorpion's X-Ray too. He's got a. Uh... And Mortal Kombat's one of those games. It's as fun to watch as it is to play. Yeah, you yeah, cannot say that about spectacle. every game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a lot. It's a, it's a great party game too. Yeah. You know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It happens. Yeah, so we're you know we're really excited about you know like the the all the the, the added layers that we've added onto the game. Yeah. You know, with these character variations and the in, and the environment leveraging. Well, I wanted to ask. The last Mortal Kombat was very well received. Uh, so when you when it came time to start this one, like where did you start from? What was the idea that you know this is what we want to do with Mortal you know, Kombat X? It, yeah, it's funny. The, the the last Mortal Kombat game. You know, who would have thought that you know, 20 years after the game came out, we'd, sure. we'd have the best selling one. <laughs> you know, like it's so better than, you know, than MK2, MK1, awesome. all, all of those things. And um, so we really, you know, got kind of nervous about, you know, you know, how you follow something like that yeah. up. And so our, our strategy was really to introduce a bunch of new elements, but also kind of maintain the things that people really embraced sure. with, uh, with, with Mortal Kombat 9. So we really feel like it's a new experience. You know, all these new characters are really... Um, are, are really fun to kind of add into the mix of, uh, of Mortal Kombat. Our story's great, you know, we're gonna be, um, yeah. we're gonna be, uh, it, it, it covers different uh, periods of time, one of which is 25 years in the future. Mm. So you're gonna, be si you're gonna be seeing, you know, like older versions of some of the, the characters and you see their offspring. And you know, oh, like wow. I said, uh, you know, Cassie Cage there is Sonya Blade's daughter, you know, Johnny Cage's daughter. And Very cool. So yeah, it seemed in nine you put a lot of care into the character stories and their cinematics. Yeah, is yeah. all that stuff returning for this. Oh one? yeah, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a huge part of uh, you know, again one of the things that that for 2011 Mortal Kombat that that people really embraced was the the, the whole story yeah. mode and, yeah. and being able to tell an elaborate cinematic story. Now, are we seeing different variations for Cassie Cage and Ferritor here? Absolutely. Uh, you know, before you noticed that her hands were kind of glowing. Right. Uh, this is her her spec ops. Um, uh, a variation, whereas Ferrator, he doesn't have her on his back in this one. So all those moves that he was using, where he was swinging around and throwing her, those are replaced with other unique moves to him. And it's a different, you know, he's way more of an in-your-face brawler type of thing as opposed to a long-range uh, one that's kind of jumping. She can call in, you know, missiles from the, nice. the special forces <laughs> and uh, come bombing on the on the opponent and. Uh, and again, you have a different strategy when you fight against the Spec Ops version of Cassie Cage than like the Hollywood version, you know, so it's really good. Mortal Kombat, like there aren't many video game franchises that are still going, you know, 20 years later. Yeah, like yeah, like I, said, I, I was, I was just, you know, we were so happy with how how people embraced the the, the last one, you know, which which came out, you know, close to, to, to twenty years to yeah. the day of, of the first one. So it's it's just so cool to, that what people do you, still love it. What do you think it is that keeps that makes it so enduring? I, I I really think part of it is, you know, is is you know we're not afraid to, to, to change things up, you know, introduce new elements to keep it interesting. Yeah. And and at the same time, you know, we, we we're maintaining the things that kind of, you know, the, the DNA of the game, and and you know, there's this nostalgic feel that people have, that too, like yeah. when they, they they just remember themselves in in an arcade some somewhere or a, a pizza place, you know, where sure. they first played yeah. the game, they first saw the fatality. There's a lot of that. Combination of nostalgia and uh, and and new stuff. So, uh, uh oh. I mean, that's part of it too, right? Yeah, it's yeah. And then there's fatality. Uh, it has it showcases some of the most creative violence, maybe yeah, we could say, in yeah, all yeah. in all video games. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. 